Smith DJ on DJ on DJ on DJ on just posted on Instagram and Facebook um, and I worked on it uh, for at least a week uh, but not every day <laughs> not every day during the week uh, it's about five to six hours of work on this journal um, and uh, this is the project itself before I start so I made it using um, Eileen Hall and Sizzix uh, uh, wrap journal uh, dies um, these are the, the XL scoreboard dies and um, they allow you to um, die cut the, the main uh, structure of your journal um, and I loved it and so this is the project so you can see it here I made two two little um, uh, bookmarks okay with uh, you know embellishments matching the the whole spirit of the of the journal itself Japanese uh, frolls blooms I uh, love it here he used uh, he's many many things to to make this uh, projects. I'm going to give you the list afterwards. Um, so here we are. You got charms here that you can't really see uh, on the pictures I I put on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, so you can't really see the charms here, the little embellishments. So these I die cut with uh, Sizzix and Team Holtz um, uh, labels. Uh, dies okay these I made with a plastic shrink this okay it's glass and uh, stuck I stuck underneath uh, little bits of uh, leftovers from uh, my uh, Japanese paper so first I show you the project because if I try explaining everything at the same time I'm going to get lost in my own explanations which is quite current don't worry it's usual so this is a project open it see so we have the same patterns inside and outside here two pockets okay Ooh, love this two little pockets so this one in okay in order to avoid having your stuff flying around each time you open your journal uh, I put a little velcro here okay a little piece of velcro um so the notebooks that I made myself okay printed the pages cut the stuff embossed it put some glitter on it <laughs> I couldn't help it put some glitter on it oh here the oh here the pages are pink I'm in a very, very pinkish mood at the moment I don't know why I've noticed that some of my friends are too so do we want to see La Vie en Rose? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> so this is the last one. So these, the, the pages are blank. Okay, ivory and um, ivory blank. And here I put some washi tape. It's, um, it's fabric washi tape. Okay, just to avoid the, uh, having the pages um, uh, kind of scratched by the uh the cord the elastic cord here and 
Secondly, it hides the the staples, okay? Because I have to use staples, and uh, well, it hides them. So I like, I like it quite a lot, actually. Um, but I'm not sure. It will, I don't know. I, I might have to put a little glue on it so it will stick. Well, I see. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Um, so this is the inside. So as you can see, I embossed it with a golden powder um, by Ranger and uh, put some color very, very softly uh, on the inside the, the embossed pots, okay, the, inside the, 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 the patterns, just very slightly colored them. Uh, so here we are. This is the back, okay, of the of the, the the journal here the little charm i put on the um elastic strip so i chose this uh um i chose this uh, solution uh, first i tried a uh, leather cord well i'm not very i'm not very familiar with leather cords so um, I had very uh, uh, various problems trying to uh, to, to close and, and keep the the the, the wrap journal uh, closed. So um, I said, you know, it's not it's not for me. This is not the solution for this one. Uh, tried the the round cord, elastic cord, traditional one. Didn't work either because uh, I was afraid it would, you know, sort of uh, take all these embellishments away uh, because it was too tight and I chose that one and uh, chose to you know put some embellishments on that on, on it so that it would wouldn't be that um, boring would I say okay to the look and uh, so I had these little flowers that I embossed um, colored with a distress ink and uh, then uh, that I uh, sealed permanently with glossy accent. So this is the this is the the project itself. Uh, I have a little charm left. I don't know what to do with it, so I I'll uh, give it away with the uh, with the journal on my uh, online shop uh, because this one is for sale. Uh, the other sometimes I do I, I make them for my family my friends and uh, sometimes it's for sale okay so this one is for sale Let's see if you're uh, in, if you're French <laughs> and interested in buying it well you can um, so this is uh, this is the project now I'm going to show you what I used to make it so this is where I put my projects okay there is so much plastic in this bloody world we live in that instead of throwing these away this is just, you know this is the this is the kind of stuff you get when you buy your vegetables and um uh, and uh, uh fruits um in a drive-in through so i i i said okay instead of uh, throwing them away after you you uh, took your your fruits which i think is completely uh illogical okay you buy buy your fruits you buy bio um vegetables and they're wrapped in this who can explain me why okay i don't understand well never nevertheless um never mind um I use them okay to put my I keep them and I use them to put my projects so that I have everything in the same place okay uh, when I'm making them while I'm making them the bits of papers the the different uh, uh, things I need such as for instance my threads and so on are in it and when I'm over when it's over well it's okay I, I take it for another one so and it's not expensive which is very important and you give a second life to these products these plastic products that otherwise would go to the to the bin and uh would pollute the planet ever more so 
this is what, what I use as a uh, to put my projects while I'm making them. Um, so this is let's start with the, the papers. So these are the papers I used for this project. Use them. Um, so this is by uh, Liberty's Papers uh, Island, and it's a uh, silk tie paper. And you can see it's a bit translucent. Okay, I don't know if you can see it um, on the video. It's a bit translucent. You have little threads in it, so it gives it a very distressed look that I love because you know that I love distress looks. And um, I love it. It's a bit. It's very thin. Okay, it's it's a thin paper, but it was, I think, very useful to cover the creases here. I didn't want the crease, the creases to appear, so I just glued this paper here, and I uh, to protect it because it's quite fragile. Okay, uh, to protect it, but not to make it gloss. Uh, to make it glossy, I used, where is it? So always when I did things that I can't find them. Oh my, oh my, where is the bloody stuff? I don't know. Oh, here it is. I found it. It's by Cleopatra, which is a, a French uh, brand. And it's give a kind of a velvet touch to uh, your products. It's not very efficient. Uh, against water uh, splashes and so on, but it's very, uh, uh, it's very. Uh, I like it uh, um, as far as as the, the 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 velvet effect it gives is is concerned. Okay, so this uh, is what I put on it. As you can see, it doesn't change, it doesn't change the the look of the paper at all. Okay, just a bit, uh, let's say a bit uh, redder. But not that much, I think, compared to some varnishes that change the look and the touch of the, the paper, like a lot. Okay, so this is what I used as a paper. Then, um, used the, um, where is it? The, um, well, oh, here it is. So, used papers by Azza, okay, that I got in a magazine uh, when I... I buy some mag scrap scrapbooking and uh, craft make it, uh, craft um, paper crafting magazines, and uh, they offer uh, pieces of papers. Okay, uh, usually A4 uh, pieces uh, sheets of paper, and uh, this one was one of them. And I love the color. It's very a, a very soft green. Um, in front in front we call it almond green. I don't know if it's. Uh, Veramonde. I don't know if it's um, something you you have in English. Well, and I love it. So I use this, and uh, um, it's another. It was the okay the other side of the paper here for the for this part. Okay, so the same paper, the same collection by Aza, easy by Aza. Uh, then I I use paper um, paper mania. Uh, Paper Mania um, paper. It's very textured. I love it. I love the I, I love the texture of it. And I can tell you um, that this uh, paper is excellent. Why? Because you see, when you cut it, okay, there is no white appearing. The paper is a mass tainted. It means that the, a mass dyed. That it means that when you cut it. You don't have to worry about the crease, the, 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 okay, the crease here being white. It's the same color as the paper, okay? And uh, this is what I like with this paper. It's very, it, one face is uh, very soft to the touch. The other one is very textured, so you can choose which one you want to, you want to use. And um, it's not that thick, but it's thick enough to make the okay yeah, to make the the, the, the covers of my uh, notebooks and the pockets here the little pockets here so it's quite thick um, I, I made that, but, uh, wait a minute there we are 
go to the source and show. So that's paper by Two Crafts, Paper Mania, and it's a heavyweight, 216 grams by square meters. So it's quite, it's quite a thick one. Uh, you can see it's 75 sheets in it and many colors. And you always find a color that matches your project. That's what I like with this one. It's so, so sad we can buy them by the unit. You have to buy the whole stuff each time. So maybe it, I, in other countries you can, but in France we have to buy them like, like this. So the 75 sheets, 75 uh, colors. Love it, love it great great uh, uh, cardstock and it's not that expensive compared to some other brands so love them so here we are excuse me i'm doing some sports here trying to reach things in the drawers that are too far down for me so there we are so you use this this color and this color so it matches you see it's almost a perfect match very rare okay it's very, I, I i've tried uh to find papers uh, um and uh other kind of papers but it's very very rare to have this kind sorry this kind of colors in a in a pack like this usually it's more bright it's they are brighter colors not that not that soft touch oh i love them so this is the paper i used now used to seal uh, the different part or to just to, to give uh my my edges here you see all my edges i covered with ink and i used i'm going to put that here because i'm going to make a catastrophe as usual so used um my distress oxide uh and in this case here a uh, candied apple so and uh, the problem with is that it's something you are going to use it's something that might get okay some rain on it or some you know water splashes or something and um, i sealed all the edges with a micro glaze to make sure that no no color would uh, uh go around because of water and did the same here for the for the, the little nut books so these are the different colors i used okay distress ink and distress oxide um and microglaze this is the absolute must have uh when you make uh scrapbooking and card making it's just fantastic uh this is the jadikins oh, um this is the jadikins brand but no, uh, it's the same as the ranger okay brand uh the fact is that uh in france you can't always find the 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 same one i usually uh, take the the um, ranger one but uh, they didn't have it in stock at the moment so i needed one and i bought this one it's exactly the same okay i think they're well i don't know exactly what's going on there but it's absolutely i think that there's the same it is the same product i think that judy kent um is working with ranger for this product uh i've read that some somewhere i don't know uh where exactly but i've read it um so this is uh, another thing i use that's the embossing powder princess gold by ranger which is by far a great one probably one of the best uh well embossing is uh great too but uh, at the moment i'm working with this one i have no surprises never great product then use these three let's say four colors they are these are jelly roll um pens by sakura and oh my they are absolutely fantastic i must have something here to show you maybe a little bit of paper i might have somewhere someday i might find it oh my this is such a mess in this there we are so as you can see very very nice very lovely effect when you write with them uh the, the you know the the tip is 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 very 
regular and uh, I like it so if you press okay a lot you have a big let's say line and if you okay trying to okay do it lightly it's better and it's very it's a, ve a very metallic shine I don't know if you get it on the on the, the video okay and they use the these four colors so that's the metal metallic okay jelly ball i've noticed that when you work with these it's much better if you have something underneath your paper i've noticed that i don't know if uh, you have the same it's much easier to they okay, give the perfect effect to your uh, writing your handwriting you are amazing that's for you friends you are amazing um so you see how shining uh, how shiny it is i love it love 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 them they're a bit expensive but they're they're great um so this is the stuff here. What else have I used? Oh yes, this so important for these are the embellishment, and uh, there are uh, die cut, die cuts and um, um, stamps by Heartfelt Creations, and it's called Tweet Cherry Blossoms, and uh, well, it allows you to make very beautiful pattern. I love it. I love it, I love it. So, Heartfelt Creations. I uh, love this, these two stamps. Um, you have, see, you have different sizes of flowers. So, I used uh, the big size for the flowers here and the smaller size for these little flowers here. So, you have the same pattern but in different sizes. And, uh, well, it's, it is great. Um, by the way, used uh, I used where is it now? Here it is. Used so this is the first time I used this. Never used before. Uh, shrink plastic by Sizzix. I discovered how great this thing can be for embellishments. I'd never heard about it before. When I came home with it, my 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 son said, "Oh yeah, we used them when we were in uh, kindergarten school." And um, well, uh, it's really, really, really um, funny. Love, I love it. I love it. I love the way it, it 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 works. You have to be careful about the colors because it can change the colors uh, you use with the uh, with the, the the plastic stuff. But it's very, very interesting. I. I I like it. So this is uh, what I used for the embellishment. What else did I use? Uh, my usual thread. Okay, my usual um, uh, golden thread. I have the same in silver. And uh, my glue. As usual, this is my favorite one for this kind of work. And um, um, I think that's it. Some ribbon, some red ribbon um and yes and all my little where are they all my little labels um my Sizzix label labels oh here they are okay by Jim Holtz uh they are they're a must have I guess this is a must have uh yeah you can use them all the time so I couldn't do without them anymore um this is probably one of the third things I bought when I started scrapbooking. Uh, these labels. I use them for everything. Um, and this is... Oh yeah! Next thing. We can, sh we can prove... Uh, we, sorry, we can prove very, very interesting and useful. That's it. When you try to make things like that, if you don't have a crocodile corner jumper you can't do it uh or it can be crocodile 
but it can be any other brand, of course, but you have to, to for heavy duty, I mean, you have to, because for lighter stuff, I, I use this one, okay, it's a very simple one, and it's very efficient when you're working just with a sheet of regular paper or paper, thick paper like this, but if you have different layers of material, such as wood, uh, cardboard, then heavy stock, uh, paper then adhesive if you don't have this kind of tool you can't do anything so it's a bit expensive but it's worth it okay it's worth it you can't do it like with this impossible um and i've tried with the scanning uh, scanning cut and uh, when you try to cut such thick stuff with the scanning cut it doesn't work it either okay i've tried and it was a a total mess so i guess it that's that's the good idea that's why that's why it, i think uh the, the fact that eileen hell and uh Sizzix, uh made this um made this um die the scoreboard die is a great idea because um it's really really helpful it's a game changer okay you don't have to struggle with every step of the making of the job it's really just creativity uh, expressing itself you don't have to worry about the you know the structure of your 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 um, journal anymore the, the structure is <laughs> handled by uh, Sizzix and Eileen Hell so thank you both of you um, so this is the this is my shrink plastic so this is it I guess I haven't forgotten anything um, the 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 little charms here um embellishments that i bought i don't know on amazon i guess uh different colors this one is leton or browns or antique i don't know how they call this in english uh you know it's a so, some sort of gold but very patine one distressed one and uh here i used uh, little bits of my liberties paper uh, japanese paper because i told you about this oh my what a stupid girl i am i i was about to forget to tell you about the the, the japanese uh, uh, paper and the japanese paper that i got from uh liberty's papers island well they are great too i mean look at how delicate okay the patterns here is and uh, you can see okay you have a little uh, golden uh, patterns everywhere and the colors are just so luminous okay you when i when i ordered the papers on the internet i didn't think i would get such luminous colors i was really surprised and uh, oh they they gave me samples of these okay uh i had a, i had a, a ordered a tie um silk uh papers and uh, they give me a few samples of these Japanese papers and well I guess I'm I'm going to get addicted to them because they are so beautiful and so soft to the touch oh my so to show you I've, I'm working on another project at the moment so I'm going to show you how it works <laughs> in Sabine workshops oh my oh my so oh, this is what I do when I cut you know my adhesives and I have something left I keep the silicone sheets uh, from my big roll of adhesive and uh, when I have uh, some leftovers of uh, uh, you know of my roll stick them here and this in this way you don't waste anything always have something to uh, okay so you can see my sentence was perfectly incorrect but who cares uh, <laughs> i'm on holidays uh so this is the the next project i'm working in as you can see it's only okay i've only uh, started with the different color patterns the structure and i'm going to work on it so but at the moment i'm a bit you know i, I was too much in this one and i had to stop this one because otherwise uh they kind of you know um Parasit, parasited themselves i don't know if you say it in english 
in French we say se parasiter, huh? so I don't know in English how we would say, um, and I've started, you know, some of the embellishments. Uh, I'm uh, working currently on, um, see, this is the same, the same pattern as this one, see, but this time it's brown, because I love brown, <laughs> you know it, love it, so there we are. Um, I'm going to put this in, in this, wait a minute, okay, so that I won't have it, okay, I won't have it in a better state, so this is the next one, working on it. The same, the same idea, the same general idea, the same paper, but this time it's more like uh, aged mahogany. <laughs> so you've guessed what inks I'm going to use. Um, and uh, see, this is the that Japanese paper I was talking about. This one is oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. You have bits of silvers, your silver, sorry, you have bits of gold. So I guess I'm going to play with both colors silver and gold because oh that might be a good idea I, I think I'm not sure oh and yeah so as I told you I was trying to find a solution for my okay this is what I wanted to to use on the other project I'm not sure what to do with it I don't know how I could use it to, to keep the the journals shut I have to think about it I have to stop for a while and think about it, it might be be I don't know I don't know I will tell you when I find the solution I've prepared something I don't know if I'm going to use it I've prepared it I might use it I might not who knows so once again we have the little okay little shams here so this is our work and uh, if ideas don't co come well I put them in the in their little uh, box and uh, I put the box away and I okay come and go back and forth and I see what I can do with them so this is it friends I've been a chatty <laughs> I have to admit some of my sentences might be totally um, uh, inaudible in English uh, which is a shame actually <laughs> for this is my job so they should be perfect but they are not uh and uh well i apologize <laughs> i apologize uh, for that but as i told you i haven't spoken english for the last uh few days because it's uh, we are on holiday here in france uh so um, i listen to english a lot but i don't speak i don't speak that much at the moment so sometimes it's hard to find the right words at the right time uh so i apologize for my English mistakes that might be somewhere uh, along the way. Um, well, see you all, my friends. I wish you well. I wish you um, health <laughs> because at the moment it's quite important. And uh, well, spring is coming. I think that you might see more flowery uh, creations on my part. Bye bye. See ya.